Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano i-connect ang Android Android phone sa inyong PC or laptop. Um, ginawa ko siya nung nakaraan sa Logos Tutorial kung saan nakikita nyo na mas napadali siya at mas convenient siya gamitin kasi di ba kapag sa phone lang tayo um, nag screen record hindi naman pwedeng isama yung webcam capturing natin hindi naman pwedeng pati yung sarili natin makukunan di ba ang masasama lang ang possible lang pwedeng isama sa screen record sa inyong mga cellphone ay yung boses ninyo so dito um, you can control and you can view your android your screen in your cellphone dito sa ating PC or sa ating laptop. So, if you want to know how to set up Visor in your Android and in your PC, continue watching this video until the end. So, let's go! So, here, we will download now the Visor in our Play Store. We will search this one, Visor Android Control on PC. Then we will install it. After we install, um, we will open now. And here it says, Welcome to Visor. Visor shares your phone screen to your computer. Getting set up is easy. So we click next. So here it says that you need to enable USB debugging. Open developer options. I will teach you how to enable USB debugging later. Then here, you need to connect your Android in your computer through USB data cable. And after that, you can now send the download link. I'm gonna click this. And more. So I will choose copy to clipboard. And after that, I will go to my Gmail and compose. I will paste the link. Then, um, gonna click this back. So, message save as drop. Now, we will set up the USB debugging by going to the about phone. Then, click this. So, here we can see the device name model. And we will click the build number many times. Until the enter lock screen password show up. Then, it says you are now a developer. We will back. Then, we will go to the settings and system. Now, you can see the developer options. In, the, in developer options, you will click this. Then, scroll. You will see the USB debugging. So, you will turn this on. Allow USB debugging, click OK. And after that, you will need to connect your Android to your PC through USB cable. So, ayun guys, pupunta na tayo rito sa aking PC. At dahil sinandan natin yung download link sa ating drop sa Gmail, pupunta tayo sa Gmail natin and go to the drops at makikita nyo na rito yung sinend nating link so here you will click the go to the link you will click this one then automatically mapupunta na kayo rito then here if naka mac or other um, os kayo you will choose that one so sa akin naka windows ako at click ko yung windows then, download. Then, after that, click nyo again yung Windows para mag-download siya automatically. Ayan, nakikita nyo sa baba. Um, 
87.9 MB siya. So, hihintayin natin siya mag-loading. So, ayan. Tapos na siya. At ang gagawin nyo, kiklik nyo lang siya. Pagka-click nyo, um, lalabas na yung pinaka... Ayan. Kung saan nyo siya isa-set up. Okay? So, nakalagay dito na no Android devices are connected. Wala pa tayong kinokonect sa kanya. This ensure the Android device is connected with a data cable. So, here we have data cable and USB debugging is enabled. Yung tinuro ko kanina. Bali, mamaya, pag, pag kinonect natin siya ulit dito sa, um, sa ating PC through USB, i-enable uli natin yung USB debugging niya. Then here, um, Android not found, make sure. Android USB debug is enabled. Windows users need to install ADB drivers. Kung wala ka pang ADB drivers, i-click nyo lang to. Then, pupunta na kayo dito, da-download nyo lang siya ulit. At pag meron na kayo nyan, i-click nyo lang dito, um, start ADB server. Then, makikita nyo, na mag start na siya. Yan, ADB server started. Click OK. Then, we will now connect our Android through USB. Papakita ko yung screen niya sa inyo. Ayan, pagka-connect niya, um, make sure na here, hindi siya naka-charge only. Dapat naka-transfer -tran files siya. Then, again, pupunta tayo sa about po, ay sa, sa, na lang, sa settings, kasi naayos na natin siya sa about phone kanina. Sa system, pupunta tayo sa developer options. In, de in developer options, you will click this, then scroll, you will see the USB debugging. So, you will turn this on, allow USB debugging, click OK. Then after that, makikita nyo na to, lalabas na yung um, Android ko rito sa taas, available devices, then um, click nyo lang yung view. So, ayan. Pagka-click nyo, waiting. Ayan, nakakonect na siya. So, ayun. We are now successfully um, connect our Android to our PC or laptop. So, basically, pwede nyo siyang i-control through your mouse and keyboard. Example. Ayan. Pwede kayo mag-type dyan to, gamit ang keyboard nyo. If may gagawin kayo rito na assignment nyo na kailangan nyo i-record, um, mas mapapadali siya kasi ba diba, sa PC tayo nag-i-screen record tulad ng ginawa natin sa Bandicam. So dito, mas makikita na yung webcam capturing nyo kasi ba diba, pag sa Android kayo nag-screen record, hindi naman makikita yung webcam nyo. Ma ang masasama lang is yung boses nyo. So, ayun. Again, I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. At kung nakatulong to sa inyo, kapag nagawa nyo siya ng maayos, at sinunod nyo lang yung process na mga ginawa ko, please leave a comment regarding this video. So, thank you for watching.